All right, so sticking with biometrics, we got some stuff with Visa. We got two two more things. Hang with me. Two more things. So let's stick with the biometrics, and we're going to take a look at what's going on with Visa, who applied for a biometric authentication patent. Yep, Visa's joining this stuff now, and if I can find the thing, there it is. Visa applies for biometric authentication patent. It says Visa is uh, in this way joining MasterCard, but also Microsoft and Google, who are all exploring ultimately similar methods. Definitely been seeing that along with Amazon uh, for the sake of what they say is preventing physical data theft and abuse of deep fakes. Again, they always they take two routes when it comes to adding this stuff into the picture. One, it's for your safety. Two, it's for convenience. They always choose those two routes. Don't let them ever fool you with it because they don't care about neither of those things. They just want to add more of the B system agenda on top of it. That's just how it goes. But they're always going to choose those paths. They're always going to tell you about that. Keep going. Uh, it says, let's see. Yeah, Google's, Apple's, and Samsung's payment services already provide the so-called seamless payment experience, while Amazon's apps just walk out, replaces checkout with what's being said a similar experience to what Visa plans to achieve. In Visa's patent, designed according to the giant's filing to provide biometric templates for privacy-preserving authentication, is approved and implemented, and the end result would be to replace uh, is the replacement of pins. Uh, personal identification number with biometric identification. So no more typing in your three to six digit pin. Nope, it's going to be your thumb or your eye or your vein or something like that. We'll talk about that in just a second. The method would be used at ATMs, payment checkouts, and Visa made sure to note that the technology's use can be extended to unlocking apartments or letting people in the venues like theaters, amusement parks, etc. cetera. Uh, these latter non-payment scenarios would follow Visa to monetize the patent uh, patent via licensing, licensing to other companies. So they're following in line with what everybody else is doing. So this is coming along the lines. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it. I've shown it here on this channel as well, where Amazon's got the walkout as well as the Palm Pay. Um, Palm Pay is that hand scan where you put your hand over the thing and it scans it and it has your stuff on file and uh, it'll pay for it that way. Walkout is as you walk in, it verifies who you are and access your account you just put stuff in your cart or in your bag, and then you just walk out. You don't have to stop. You don't have to pay. You just walk out the other way, and it automatically charges based upon the sensors that it showed you picking up in the store. A lot of airports and stuff have this. A lot of um, uh, Whole Foods markets are doing this because Whole Foods is owned by Amazon um, as well. So they're starting to do that. Aldi's in the UK is also doing some of this as well, and it's becoming more popular. Well, MasterCard's Got a similar thing. Microsoft and Google has been working on this as well. Visa is now joining the party. Even JP Morgan uh, has uh, has a, a similar system that they've done too. The banking place, yes. So we're seeing more of it going along uh, with this. Now going with it is, of course, Pompeii kiosks, which Visa Singapore Innovation Center ushers in a new era of payments. And you can see them holding the little payment kiosks. Now a couple things that they point out with this. Uh, this is Visa again. Uh, speed and convenience of biometric payments. Pay by palm is the next generation payment technology falling right in line with what we read about in Revelation uh, that uses unique palm signatures for identity, di bleh, ident identity verification. There we go. Significant leap from the widely used fingerprint and facial recognition system of today. I'll show you how it's a little bit more um, uh invasive in just a second visitors to use the innovation center can experience hovering their palm over a reader linking their unique signature to their uh, payment card for transaction while still in early adoption stages it's already making waves in urban mobility in china we've seen those retail sectors mexico's got them as well retail sectors in sec sectors in united states but it's not just about convenience oh really gen a uh or <laughs> wow gen a i just went like um uh, Forrest Gump all of a sudden, Gen I, uh, using Gen AI to analyze anonymized biometric and payment uh, data. Businesses can also gain valuable insights for personalized recommendations. What does that mean? 
If you guys have ever seen the movie The Minority Report, when you see Tom Cruise walking through the mall with the eye scanners all over the place, it scans his eyes, recognized who he is, uh, accesses the social profile, and then shows personalized ads of things that he would be interested in based upon the identity that has been given to him. Similar to like how Facebook and YouTube and stuff, if you just have your phone sitting there, you're having a conversation about toasters, but you never type toasters into your phone. And then the next time you open one of those things up, there's an ad for toasters. Similar to that, but much more in-depth and based upon your actual biometric identity. That's what they're talking about when it comes to that. And it goes on to say shop online, uh, shop online, offline with AR, augmented reality, and AI. While many still view AR as a novelty, this technology has been in use uh, been in use in finance and retail to create immersive shopping experiences that has helped businesses connect with customers. From in-store displays and activations to virtual try-on experiences and navigation, AR and AI can be harnessed together to capture the opportunities that come from the evolution of e-commerce metaverse and the growing comfort of consumers with online shopping as well as contactless payment and so on and so on it goes on to talk about virtual fitting rooms and and all that stuff doesn't really matter yeah so again we're seeing a production uh, or push i don't know where production came from a push uh for biometric personalized stuff to tap into your profiles as well as things for the metaverse and virtual reality and all these types of things. We're starting to see that progression move forward. Now, what does this thing look like? Looks like your standard kiosk that we've been seeing from all the other ones. Wouldn't be surprised that they're all made by the same company. They're just being uh, being licensed out to these uh, places like Visa and Amazon and stuff like that. So I was talking about how it goes a little bit more deeper. Well, it says, note the vein pattern at the bottom left of the screen. Okay, I talked about this a while ago, probably not a year ago, a little less than a year ago, but I talked about how these things are not just about external, um, like your palm prints, because you know how everybody has uh, different um, prints as well as folds and lines and stuff on their hands. No, it actually reads the veins within your hand because everybody has a unique vein pattern in their hand. And so when you place your hand there and it scans, it's getting your fingerprints and your the lines on your hand, but it's also going into your hand and scanning your vein lines, where they go. And it's determining who you are based on that. It's the next level of biometrics because I'm sure you guys have seen like CSI or, or Law and Order where anybody can mimic the outside of a hand. Well, now they're, they're well, no, for your security, extra security, we're now going to get your vo- uh, your vein prints as well. So this is a part of Visa's thing as well. They've got the vein scans in there, which goes along with some of the other stuff as well. I've talked about how they have uh, lasers that can uh, read somebody's heartbeat and identify them off your heartbeat as well. Whether people realize it or not, everybody has a unique heartbeat as well. And they've got lasers that can read people's hearts as well. So I'm sure that stuff's out there. But they're they're taking this much deeper than skin. This is deeper than skin deep. And they're just moving along with it. This is how it's going. Oh, again, don't fear, guys. Don't worry. There's so many people I know that's like, how do I get around all this stuff? You can't. And whether you realize it or not, but you've already been analyzed to the point of no return. This is just how it goes. When Think about when you're born. The stuff that they do to put you on record. They get your blood type and everything. All that's already there. So there's no stopping it. There's no fixing it. There's no getting around it. Again, I always say, you know, putting tape on your camera lens or, or cap or something is always good. But if you have your phone on you or you have some type of smart device or if you're just walking into the store, almost every store has biometric cameras now, you can't stop it. So don't worry about changing your life in that way. Continue to focus on what we need to focus on because that stuff all gets in it gets in the way of, of doing what we need to do. So just just keep that in mind. Just remember that.